Good morning students. Welcome back to English online teaching class of standard 10. Today I am going to start with the poem Fog written by Carl Sandburg from the book First Flight. My dear students, I have taken this small poem to teach before you all today because today is the last video lecture before your summer vacations. So it will not create any difficulty for you to understand further. So that's why a short portion. Let's Proceed further. Fog written by Carl Sandburg. The fog comes on little cat feet. It sits looking over harbour and city. On silent haunches and then moves on. I repeat. The fog comes on little cat feet. It sits looking over harbour and city. On silent haunches and then moves on. Here are the word meanings children. Haunches means sitting with knees bent. And harbour means the place near the sea where the goods are loaded and unloaded. You know very well. Now, let's proceed further with the details. Fog written by Carl Sandburg. Carl August Sandburg was born on 6th January 1878 in United States. He was an American poet, writer and editor. He won three Pulitzer Prizes, two for his poetry and one for his biography of Abraham Lincoln. He was widely regarded as a major figure in contemporary literature. He died in 1967. Now, let's see the theme of the poem that is the central idea. The poet Carl Sandburg in his poem Fog describes fog as a cat. This description of fog as a living creature shows the poet's interest in the wonders and beauties of nature. To him, the coming of fog resembles the way a cat comes silently on little feet. Like a cat, the fog sits on its hips and like a cat's gaze, the fog looks over the harbour and the city. I repeat, like a cat, the fog sits on its hips and like a cat's gaze, the fog looks over the harbour and the city. Just like a cat keeps moving and hardly stays at one place, the fog also slowly moves on and vanishes. So this was the central theme of the poem. Now, let's see the tone of the poem. Tone is mysterious, light and playful. In this poem, the poet compares the fog moving across the harbour to the movement of a cat. Now, the rhyme scheme. There is no rhyme scheme in this poem, children, because the poem is written in free verse. Now, Let's move ahead with the explanation of the poem. The fog comes on little cat feet. It sits looking over harbour and city on silent haunches and then moves on. Let's see the explanation of the first two lines first. The fog comes on little cat feet. In the above lines, the poet says that fog comes just like a cat. Here the poet compares the fog with the characteristics of a cat. Just like a cat comes slowly on its little feet, fog also comes slowly. Now let's see the next four lines. It sits looking over harbour and city on silent haunches and then moves on. In the above lines, the poet says that just like a cat, fog comes and sits over the harbour and city, covering everything. Then it slowly moves without making any noise like a cat and moves on to pounce upon some other place. Overall, if you see the complete explanation, the short poem is an expression of the view of fog. For the poet, fog is not just a natural phenomenon. It is rather a creature. Fog has been compared with a cat as the way fog comes. It is very similar to the ways of a cat. As a, ca as a cat walks silently on its small feet, the fog also comes in the same manner, as if a cat is sitting silently on its haunches and looking over the harbour and the city. Finally, when fog leaves a city, it looks like a cat's slow and silent steps moving on from that place. So this was the explanation, children. Now let's see the moral or the outcome of the poem. That means the message you get from here. The poet is showing his reader that People are a part of nature, but nature isn't about to bend to the will and desires of people. It is uncaring and will do 
what it pleases. Here are the poetic devices from the poem. The first poetic device is metaphor, means indirect comparison between two objects. Example from the poem, children. Metaphor you will find in the lines where the use of cat is there for referring to fog. Second, analogy. Children, it is also a kind of figure of speech where you will find a correspondence or partial similarity. Again, example from the poem, comparison of fog to a cat. Now, please do not get confused here. You may get confused that ma'am, both are sounding the same. Let's have a look. All three children, metaphor, simile and analogy are closely related. All three figures of speech are closely related showing the similarity between two objects. Thus, there is a slight difference children. Metaphor, indirect comparison, simile, direct comparison and analogy also represents comparison but bit more complex. Uh, in general words you can say analogy also very much similar to metaphor. Now. Word meanings, I have already told you, haunches and harbour, which are the two difficult words given in the poem. Now, let's proceed further with the important questions that may come for your board exams from here, from this poem, children. Remember, I have brought before you all the important short questions and long questions from this poem for oral discussion in this video lecture. I have not given it separately in the PDF file because I am discussing all here only. Let's proceed. How does the poet compare fog to a living being? The poet compares the fog to a cat. The silent steps of a cat and the way it sits on its haunches is very similar to the way fog comes and surrounds the city and looks over it. What image does the poet give to the fog? What are the similarities between that image and fog? The poet looks at fog as a living creature and compares it to a cat. The fog moves like a cat on its feet and sits on haunches like a cat. A cat is generally a very cautious creature and therefore it cannot sit and relax in one place. The fog is also a temporary visitor to earth and that shows very clearly in its movements. Next question. How is the fog like a cat? What three things suggest it? Three things suggest that the fog is like a cat. Like a cat, the fog comes silently. The fog is looking over the harbour and the city like a cat does. So sitting on its haunches. Thirdly, it moves as the cat moves quietly and silently. Both for and cat's movement silently. One of the important long question. Difficulties come but they are not to stay forever. They come and go. Comment referring to the poem for. Here is the answer children. Difficulties when faced by people tend to leave them hopeless and shattered. It takes a lot of courage to overcome any problem and to solve it. If we take a clue from the poem and compare difficulties to fog, we find that just like fog, difficulties also come and go. One need not to be hopeless and lose courage when problems come. One should rather think of it as fog, meaning that it has not come to stay but will always leave like a fog. Problems are also temporary and they will go away like fog as they cannot stay or trouble anyone permanently. The other questions in long one may come this way children. What is the theme of the poem? Or what is the message or the outcome of the poem? I have already given or uh, write the summary of the poem. Summary in the sense what did you understand from this poem? That also I have explained. So you will have no difficulties. Still if you have something you can ask me anytime. Thank you.